It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, April 2nd. I'm James Spann. We'll have scattered storms about today. Then an organized batch of showers and storms late tomorrow and tomorrow night along a cold front. Those could pack a punch. And then cool air settles in here for Saturday as the Easter weekend begins. A lot of things to talk about, so here we go. Southern branch of the jet stream is active and energetic. Who, by the way, look at this. This was yesterday. Pretty nice day. That was the sun going down at Weiss Lake. But today should be a little more active with storms. Now, this is the radar early this morning. This was at about 5 o'clock, and we've got some showers over parts of Mississippi. We are quiet, but later today, scattered showers and storms will form. Early this morning, we have mostly 50s and 60s. 55, double nickels for Gadsden and Fort Payne. Birmingham at 66. Most everybody will see a high around 80 today, maybe low 80s in spots. That's about 10 degrees above average. Flash flood watch is in effect for parts of southern Missouri, one up into areas near the Ohio River. And yep, it's springtime. We've got severe weather possibilities later today and tonight. There is an enhanced risk basically in that same zone where there's a flash flood watch. Uh, southern Missouri up into southern Illinois, western Kentucky, southern Indiana surrounding that. And by the way, you know, that's one of the new risk areas. Enhanced is uh, between slight and moderate. We have a standard slight risk of severe weather from near Tulsa to Indianapolis and almost Cincinnati. Now, there is a marginal severe weather risk for parts of north and east Alabama. And some of the storms later this afternoon could be pretty strong. The, the instability values come up. I don't think we see, we see the kind of hail output we had a couple of days ago, but there could be some small hail and gusty winds later today and tonight. But this is the focus of the concern. It's tomorrow in advance of a surface boundary. We had the enhanced risk into northwest Alabama uh, that would include places like Huntsville, Athens, the Shoals, Hamilton, and Russellville. Surrounding that, the slight risk, the standard risk, uh, runs from near Gadsden down to about Alabaster and York Livingston. And, of course, we'll discuss that in detail as we go. The, if you look at the probabilities within that enhanced risk, there is a 30% chance of severe weather within 25 miles of a given point. And obviously, hail and strong, maybe damaging straight-line winds are an issue. The question is, could there be a tornado in there? And we'll take a look at the parameters. Just a look at the QPF chart. Expected rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning. The really big numbers are well to the north, up around the Ohio River. But down here, rain amounts of one inch are likely. Some spots could see a bit more. All right, model fans. It's a GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. You see broad troughing in the western states, kind of a zonal flow down here. And uh, below that, we've got a moist air mass, but there's not a you know a lot of dynamic support for storms, but no doubt we'll probably see some out there today. In fact, this is the uh, high-resolution HRRR model, the HER model, model, late this morning at 11. And it's got a number of showers and storms about. This is showing pretty decent coverage. And the same thing at 5 o'clock today. Now, it's not going to rain all day, but it could rain at times. There could be some strong storms with thunder and lightning, but severe weather should not be a major issue today. We, we don't expect a repeat performance of the big hailers we had a couple of days ago. But uh, again, this is tomorrow. And again, uh, we've got a surface boundary north of the state. Uh, at 1 o'clock, we have a broad surface low that's on the Ohio River. And then by midnight tomorrow night, that surface low is approaching New York City with a, a band of showers and storms coming down in here. Traditionally, in a configuration like that, you don't have tornado problems. You could see issues with strong winds and hail. This is a look at the high-res NAM tomorrow at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. And again, you can see that we've got uh, uh, the line of showers and storms into North Alabama. And uh, if this is right, they'd come on through Birmingham maybe around midnight tomorrow night. Instability values, they're so so for, for early April, uh, over a thousand joules in advance of the front. But we'll check the uh, helicity values. Those are pretty high. And this is the zero to one kilometer storm relative helicity, the lower levels. And uh, that would certainly kind of raise your eyebrows and make you wonder if there might be a little small spin-up tornado somewhere within the line. Wind feels kind of marginal. This is the low-level jet at 850. The better winds are well to the north of the state. And this is the Energy Helicity Index, the EHI, and they do exceed one unit 
in advance of that front. And again, all these maps are valid uh, tomorrow evening at uh, tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. So uh, again, I would say that the main threat with this will be from strong, gusty, straight line winds and some hail. An isolated tornado, not out of the question. The better chance, I would say, would be over northwest Alabama during the evening hours. And when it comes to thunderstorms, you always expect the unexpected. So we'll watch for any surprises there. I'd say rain amounts probably about one half inch. Now, stor- storms are gone Saturday. Beautiful day to start the weekend. Sunny and cooler. Hey, the GFS is printing a high of only 61 for Birmingham. Areas north of Birmingham could be in the 50s all day. But again, the sky bright, sunny, low humidity, nice, cool, and crisp day. Sunday, the morning will be pretty cold. Uh, some of the colder pockets will see 30s, maybe a touch of light frost. Again, uh, we'll check the numbers coming off the ensembles. It's got 41 there at Birmingham. But the good news, that's going to be it, uh, I think, for uh, frost and freeze issues until maybe late October. And the day Sunday should be glorious. The high, the sky will be sunny. The ensembles there have 69. Just delightful. But Monday of next week, the moisture comes right back. We'll bring back the chance of showers and thunderstorms on Monday, the high back in the uh, mid to upper 70s. Instability value is kind of marginal. There's a deep surface low over the Great Plains. The better severe weather setup there would be over Kansas, Oklahoma, North Texas, and not here. Tuesday, the air stays kind of moist, but uh, the better, you know, there's not a big dynamic forcing setup here. So severe weather, not especially likely. But again, there could be some storms about, scattered storms. And this is Wednesday of next week. Got a surface front pushing down from the north. And again, at some point, that might trigger some strong storms. This is Thursday of next week. Pretty good trough well to the north of us. And the front just kind of hangs up and stalls out. We stay in a moist air mass. So the weather next week is looking warm and relatively unsettled, which is what we expect in April around here. Uh, By the way, there's the instability values on Thursday, and uh, they're starting to come up a little bit. Here's the end of the forecast On the 11th of April, I got troughing west of the state. Looks like a storm system is departing at that point. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Notes in the blog. I'll be traveling today, probably not able to crank up an afternoon video. I'll be speaking this evening at Western Kentucky University in Bowling Green. Uh, Back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. But I will post forecast notes on the blog by 4 o'clock. And if you can, catch our friends back at the station on the air this evening, 4, 5, 6, and 10 on TV or the live stream on ABC 3340. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.